Hey guys, my fantastic wine rack slash glasses rack slash kitchen island. Let's go through it. So folks, this is a real versatile piece of furniture. And uh, if you've got a smaller space and you want a lot of flexibility, this is where it's at. It's a functional wine rack and it holds, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, so 24 bottles of wine. It'll also hold your wine glasses and it's a nice thin form factor. You can use it as your kitchen as a functional working surface, an island to do some work on, you know, food prep or whatever you like. 36 inches high, as you see it here, so it's nice. Uh, give you an idea of height. Um, that's counter height because uh, your average table is about 28 to 31 inches. So that extra five to seven inches really makes a difference. But 36 inches high, 31 inches across, and only 16 inches deep. So if you've got a smaller kitchen, kitchen space, this is a great thing. You could put a microwave or something on top if you wanted to, but as I said, this is a nice hardwood cutting type surface. So for sure you put a cutting board even on top of this, but you could work right on the surface if you wanted to. It's got a nice urethane finish, so it's waterproof. Uh, hardwood construction, and again, I've set a wine bottle in there so you can see how it sits. The wine bottle sort of sits on a slight angle down, and again, if you've got a corked wine, that's what you, so that's how you want to store your wine. Multiple uh, levels for storing wine glasses. I've got one in there as well. But I can see comfortably, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think you can put it, 15 to 20 glasses under there. And, um, you know, it's a nice way to store them, especially if your cupboards don't have allotment for actual wine glass storage. And, you know, the kids, they mix them with your other dishes, and then before you know it, they're cracked and broken. So I'm going to take some photos. They're going to be higher quality in this video, but this is a great piece of furniture. I can't stress enough how stable it is, even though it's nice and thin and form factors, because the hardwood construction has got some nice weight to it. So you can use it and enjoy it in your kitchen. And again, I see this being used by someone who's got a smaller type kitchen space or someone who just wants to add an extra element. You could paint it if you want, but I think that'd be a shame in as much as the clear coat finish already makes it waterproof and very attractive. And again, this neutral styling is such that when you put it into service, you know, it looks good in any environment, especially if you fill it up. You can imagine wine bottles filling this thing, because once you add the wine bottles, the stability will increase even more because you'll basically be adding about, well, I don't know, anywhere from 30 to 40 pounds of weight. So, sounds good to me. Anyway, I'm going to take some photos. It's going to be higher quality in this video, um, but it's a great piece of furniture. I understand, uh, just a quick uh, point of business, you're going to look at this ad, be very impressed by the video and the photos. But some of you will be tempted to offer me less. You'll be tempted to offer, shoot me an offer. And I'm not going to be doing that. Just to let you know, guys, I don't put this amount of effort in just because it feels good. Um, I do this so that you can look at an ad like this and go, well, yes, this is what I want. I know I'm going to show up and not have to deal with any disappointments. And that's the best part, guys. There's no disappointments to this ad. It's very clear, concise. You'll be able to acquire this, put it into service immediately, and enjoy it. I don't know. sounds good to me. So like I said, pricing is firm. But study the pictures again, back this video up again if you need to see more detail. Uh, but I'm very flexible. You can reach out to me. I'll get back to you almost immediately. We'll find a time that works for you and you can come pick it up. So like I said, guys, uh, get a hold of me and uh, I'll sell it to you.